If you've been watching my content for any length of time, then you probably know that I'm a huge fan of the Monster Hunter series. The ridiculously addictive gameplay loop of go out, beat a monster, get its parts, use those parts to make better armor and weapons, and then go out and hunt another monster is awesome. My first experience with Monster Hunter was playing one of the demos on the Wii. It was not a good experience, and it almost turned me away from the genre completely. Capcom is really bad at making the Monster Hunter games accessible to people who have not been playing the games all along. Luckily, I found some really good YouTube channels that explained how to play Monster Hunter games, and I decided to give Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate on the Nintendo Switch a try. I also picked up Monster Hunter World on the PS4 and PC, and finally, when Monster Hunter Rise came to the Nintendo Switch, I picked that up, put in a whole bunch of hours, and then when it came to the PC, I doubled every hour that I put into the Nintendo Switch version. So I think it's clear that I adore this genre, even if I'm not particularly good at it. So I'm sure it'll come as no surprise that I was really looking forward to Wild Hearts. If you haven't heard of Wild Hearts, it's essentially a Monster Hunter game from EA, and I know a lot of people give EA short shrift, and I would say, based on their behavior in the past, it is deserved. However, recently, EA has been doing really well. I mean, look at Jedi Fallen Order and its upcoming sequel, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. The first game is pretty much universally acclaimed, and the next one looks fantastic. And while absolutely we have seen executives at EA say some questionable things about microtransactions and whether or not single-player games should be around anymore, those people are not at EA these days, and that was actually a really long time ago. And I feel like recently EA has earned back some of the respect that they lost, at least from me. Now, I was already excited about Wild Hearts because I love that genre, but my excitement went to new levels when I heard the EA announced that the game would have absolutely no microtransactions. I thought this was absolutely fantastic news. I'm going to pick it up and play it on my PC. I'm going to play it on my Steam Deck, and I'm going to have an absolute blast. Well, not so fast, Bill, because over on Reddit, one of the devs named Lewis, who's an executive producer on Wild Hearts, was doing an AMA about the upcoming game, which is due to be out on the 17th. Well, you knew it would not be long before somebody on Reddit asked whether or not the game would be supported on the Steam Deck, and I've got some very bad news for you. Here is what the dev had to say. The game won't be supported on Steam Deck at launch. I have one now, and I want this as much as you. Hopefully, we can get to this in the future. Now, that answer is absolutely non-committal in either way. They're basically saying, hey, you know, if we have time, we're going to support the Steam Deck, but don't bet on it. And... One thing that I feel like I've said pretty often on my shows is that you shouldn't buy something in the hopes that it will be supported in the future. And I'm not saying don't pick it up on PC, but if you're picking it up on Steam in the hopes that you'll be able to play it on the Steam Deck, you might end up disappointed. I would actually recommend that you just don't pre-order the game and wait until it comes out and find out if it's working on Steam Deck. The 17th isn't really all that far away anyway. And there's plenty of games out there that are not supported on Steam Deck, but they do work. Now, the dev team for Wild Hearts didn't indicate what the reason was that the game is not supported on Steam Deck. It, it is a game that includes multiplayer, so it's possible that there's anti-cheat software that's going to get in the way. It could have something to do with EA's launcher. We recently saw a whole bunch of EA games not working on Steam Deck because of the launcher until Valve updated Proton in order to fix it. Or maybe it has something to do with DRM. I recently made a video about how DRM, anti-cheat, and launchers are the bane of the existence of the Steam Deck. You can check out that video linked down below. I'm personally going to wait until the game comes out and find out if it's going to work on the Steam Deck without any workarounds. And if that's not the case, then I'll end up picking it up on either my PS5 or my Xbox Series X. As much as I would love to play this thing on the Steam Deck, I still have Monster Hunter on that machine, and I can just focus on Wild Hearts on the TV. But if it turns out that the game launches and it just works fine without having to jump through any hoops, like maybe they're saying, hey, it's not going to work on Steam Deck because they haven't gotten a bespoke profile for it or something like that, then maybe I'll pick it up on PC and we'll see how it works on the Steam Deck. So what do you guys think? What are your plans on how to play? Will Wild Hearts be coming to your console or will you be playing it on PC or will you be waiting for an official Steam Deck support? Let me know in the comments down below. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. From the Nerd Nest, I'm Bill. Stay rad, everybody.